guys, it's Priscilla from New York. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Priscilla's English Lessons. Now, as you guys can see in today's lesson, we are going to be talking about lose and lost. So, lost is in the past tense, meaning something that already happened in the past, maybe an hour ago, a month ago, a week ago, whatever, you get the point, it happened beforehand. So when using lose or lost as a verb, it can be said, I lost my phone. You can say, I lost my job. I lost my friend. And the list goes on. You can basically, after the my, you can replace the object with anything that you have lost. I lost mine, and you can fill in the blank basically. However, there is an exception to this rule. There's just one exception to this rule. You can say I lost my blank for everything except for this one thing. So I'm gonna put a star right here. When you talk about weight, now when you wanna talk about your weight and how you lost weight, you cannot say I lost my weight. This is the only exception. There is no need to say I lost my weight. This does not go there. It's only I lost weight. That is the only exception to this rule. Other than that, you can say I lost my whatever you lost and you can go throughout your day and say I lost my blank. But if you want to say I lost weight, no need to say the my in there, I lost my weight. That's not correct. Okay, so when looking at using this verb as an adjective, you can say I am lost or I was lost. Now there is a difference between these two small sentences, the am and was. Now the am shows that that's the present tense and the was shows that that's the past tense. So I am lost, meaning that you are lost right now. And I was lost, meaning that you were lost before. An adjective meaning you are basically talking about yourself. Okay, so now we've covered using lose or loss as a verb or as an adjective. Now this can also be used as a noun. So when you're using it as a noun, one might say loser. Now that is not a good connotation. Some people can call you a loser if they do this to you, which is not a good thing. Um, if they call you a loser, it basically means you're not doing anything with your life but um, it can be used to describe a person or it can be used when, um, when you're playing a game of some sort. There's a winner and a loser. I'm hoping that all of you guys will be winners after watching this lesson. So I really hope that this kind of clears up any confusion that you guys might have had and it helps you with your speaking in English. So thank you guys very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.